You know, we all have our own definition of success. Success to you could be wealth, it could be finding love, it could be a promotion, it could be whatever your heart desires it to be. But success is ultimately a level or a destination that we're, we are all trying to reach. In some way, shape, or form, I believe humans are destined to either chase success or attract it. If you agree with that statement, I'm going to share with you a method that I've used to attract it. And the way that I was able to do this, or how I, I even learned of this concept, was because I had a mentor. I have, I've had plenty mentors. To, to this day, I have mentors. Both in physical form, meaning that I can actually see them, or I interact with them right, uh, in real life. And then I also have virtual mentors. Virtual mentors are mentors that I watch from afar, maybe on YouTube or maybe online. And also uh, mentors that I can read books from. You see, mentors are the absolute fastest way to find success because they've already accomplished it. And so until you have your own mentor, because I know finding a mentor is very hard. It's an it's, it's, um, it's awkward question to ask somebody like, hey, will you mentor me? Because we believe that there's this massive inconvenience that we're putting upon somebody. Or maybe we're not in a financial position where we can ask for you know, mentoring, right? And typically, in order to, to have a mentor, that mentor is going to ask you for something, whether it's, uh, it's money, compensation, or, or a great deal of your time, or maybe you do a lot of their chores or, or grunt work. And so, until you find the right mentor, allow me to be your mentor. What I mentor is uh, marketing, selling, influence, persuasion and just mindset hacking because I believe that this is something that we can all benefit from although the language and, and the wordplay you hear a lot on this channel is evolved around mortgage banking it's just because that's my primary language that's what I do for a living and I, uh, I'm very successful at that and I want to share with you how I was able to attract success rather than chase it let's go What's up everybody, welcome back to Sales Remastered. My name is Daniel and I'm your host and on this episode, I've got something very exciting for you. Um, I, I don't, you know, to this day, I don't think I've ever caught a video that actually shares with you a simple concept of how to attract success. You know, typically when you get mentoring videos or, or coaching videos, they always say in order to catch success, you gotta chase it. In order to chase success or, or be faster at catching it, you gotta buy my $9,000, $999 program. Just click the link below. And so in this video though, I'm not gonna do any of that. I'm not gonna sell you on anything. Well, no, you know what? I actually am because this channel is called Sales Remastered. I'm going to sell you on the idea of helping yourself. And if you buy into this idea, I believe you're going to help yourself unlock the levels that you're desiring to reach, that you're in pursuit of, and that level or that destination is success. And so down to the point, you know, Today is Thursday, and as some of you know in the audience, every Thursday on both YouTube and Facebook, I do a live, I want to say training session, but I'm still trying to figure out a, a good, unique name for it because it's not just about training. I believe it's little, literally lifestyle development. It's mindset development. So there's so much information that I try and pack into that 30 minutes and I, I want everyone to walk away from it knowing that it's just not about mortgage banking, boo-boo. It's just not about helping you sell or helping you persuade or helping you close or helping you negotiate. It's also gold nuggets for you to take and use in your everyday life. And anyway, so today being Thursday, I'm actually gonna be putting together a live stream that shows salespeople what common mistakes or, or unknown mistakes rather that most salesmen are making and 
don't even realize it. And these mistakes are very costly because it costs time, it costs energy, and it costs financially because with these mistakes, unfortunately, salesmen are just not able to capture the perks and the fruits of their labor and it really experience what it's like to be a great salesman. And, you know, I have a lot of content that shows you what to do or how to do, you know, certain sales techniques and, and negotiating techniques or marketing techniques, mindset development techniques, self-motivational or self-improvement techniques. And I think that it's just as important to share with the audience of what also not to do. Right, like you know, you're going to see a lot of pages show you what to do, what to do, but very rare pages, or very rarely do you see information of what not to do. And and so in this live stream, I've dedicated 30 minutes of going over unknown uh, mistakes that are commonly being made with the with the intent to help salesmen identify if they're currently doing it now, or at least at least become aware that if they notice themselves doing it in the future, they can put a solution in place. And so I invite you to, you know, check out this live stream again every Thursday uh, from 8.30 a.m. to 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. It can be found on Facebook and YouTube. And anyway, the topic in itself has a lot to do with what I was talking about. And this is the way you ultimately attract success. You see, how I learned this method was from my mentor. <laughs> I bet you'd be like, oh, here we go. Because you probably hear that a lot, right? From a lot of people at a level that you're trying to learn from because your goal is to reach that level. And the reason why you hear that a lot is because typically the people who are on the next level have reached that level because they were mentored. And so I cannot stress enough how important it is to get a mentor because a mentor will help you save a great deal of time, will help you save a great deal of money, and help you avoid paths that ultimately reach dead ends. Although it is important for you to want to invite failure, because only through failure you'll be able to condition yourself for the success that you believe you're entitled to. And until you deserve that success, you're gonna discover that that conditioning was all really brought about by, by ultimate positioning. And that's actually the, the true way of, of attracting success as opposed to chasing it, is it's a matter of positioning. You see, my mentor told me this method or this, you know, this uh, this one great piece of advice, just like this. He said, he said, he said um, you know, my mentor once told me because he learned from his mentor, and he learned from his mentor, and my mentor's mentor's mentor learned from his mentor. And I was like, damn, bro, I, I didn't even. Know. And so, in other words. This was passed down through generation and generation and generation. I just thought it sounded funny because it was more like a riddle at the time that I originally heard it. But then I thought about it because it's been coming up over and over again as, oh yeah, right? It's like one of those things you learn as a kid. You're like, man, I remember, you know, they, uh, <laughs> like when I remember when I was a kid, they used to tell me I'm not going to appreciate anything until I'm actually older. And you, you know, to some degree, it's so true, right? Actually, to every degree, it's very true. But where, where I'm getting at is that ultimately, this piece of advice has, has been passed down through generation through generation through generation. And, and ultimately, it's gone from mentor to mentor to mentor to mentor to mentee. And now that mentee, it mentored me. And so that piece of advice was this, is that in order to succeed, all you need to do is position yourself to succeed. And he went on to say is that positioning is not a location. Although we have this misperception that we think, okay, well, I got to find that location. I got to find that location. And because of it, we are on this constant chase. Whereas you can attract success simply by being in success's way. And again, a young kid, right? I had to have been like maybe 21, 22 years old. Man, I was I, I was so hungry, you know, like I was just like, bro, give me the answer. How do I get success, right? Because I was impatient. And it took me years to really understand the the meaning of the message, but it, listening back and, and hearing it back and playing it over and over in my head, now I understand.
And ultimately what he was saying is that oftentimes we feel the need to chase it as if success is running away from us. When in reality, success has been, has been on its own path and all we have to do is find that path. And in order to find that path, you just need to find people already on that path. <laughs> and once you find people already on that path, you simply join them on that path. Makes sense, makes perfect sense, right? He's all, and, and th th this is what I've gathered from it, is that how you position yourself to succeed is you you do the actions that the successful people already do and so if, if successful people have mentors or get mentors or have coaches or get coaching then guess what you got to do boo boo if if <laughs> if successful people put in hours and hours of work and are willing to make the sacrifice for immediate results in exchange for patience, tenacity, persistence, grit, hard work, studying, right? Serving rather than expecting. Then guess what we got to do? <laughs> we got to do that too, boo-boo. And so how I ultimately translated this and kind of, you know, adopted the message and how I'm doing it now and you could see how I'm doing it now because I get off I, often I get asked like D man why are you giving away so much free content that literally I mean it literally teaches everybody everything that they need to know right and they're like dude you could you could literally pay f you could literally charge people for this you could sell this information for thousands upon thousands upon thousands of dollars. Why don't you do that? Why do you take so much time to create a brand to give so much value that other people are charging for? And here's the answer. Because my mentor's mentor mentor, mentor's mentor mentor, <laughs> mentored him and then his mentor mentored him and then his mentor mentored mentored my mentor and they mentored me that it's all about positioning. And if you position yourself in a way to be a valuable a, a valuable resource, meaning you give more value than you actually ask for or expect, well then guess what? You're in value's way, you're in success's way. And so if you ask me right now, hey D man, I don't get it bro. How, how do you give away so much free content and you're giving everyone the answer. It's because I ha I am positioning myself in various ways. Positioning myself as an expert, positioning myself as an authority, positioning myself as, as a person of interest. Meaning at some point or another, you found my channel. I don't know how, but somehow we connected. And I believe and I'm confident that at some point within the content that I've given you some valuable information, valuable enough that you've come back. Not only that, but at some point, I believe you found the valuable content here so valuable that you've shared it with somebody. You've mentioned it to somebody. You've clicked the link, purchased and invested and bought my course learn from the course, paid for the course in itself through the success and the return that you gained from the course, and then talk about it to your sales staff or your sales team. I'm so confident that you also took the suggestion to check me out on other channels. You see, mentoring is a very, very hard commodity to find, right? Like it's very hard to find a mentor. However, technology has given us the ability to communicate with mentors all across the globe as opposed to the early 1900s or the late 1800s. You know how they got mentors? <laughs> do, do you know that in order to even get a book, right? We can go on Amazon, right? I can go on Audibles. I can go on iTunes and pick up a book in a second and learn from the mindset of, of great leaders like Napoleon Hill 
right? Great leaders that you would probably know because maybe be like, who the hell is Napoleon Hill? <laughs> Great leaders like Dale Carnegie, right? Um, uh, Earl Nightingale, um, you know, great leaders, okay, more modernized, uh, Steve Jobs, <laughs> right? Um, all these other pers persons of interest that we can literally learn from right away. And the question is, though, do we take the time to learn from them? And so my answer to you is the same exact concept that I'm going to be sharing in this live stream. So I invite you to join me in this live stream is that in order to to attract success, all you have to do is position yourself and prepare for it. That's it. That's it. You don't necessarily need to chase it. But here's the thing, though, is that when people prepare themselves for success and they try to attract it, we become impatient. And it's not our fault. We're just in a society that has allowed us to become impatient. We, we, we belong to a society that's so advanced, it's become our, it's kind of, ha, it's, it kind of has this backlash now because now we expect things to be immediate. Just like I said, I can go pick up a book or audio book in a heartbeat. But in the early 1900s, right? Like back before our day, our elders, man, there's only a couple books written, bro. Like they had to either, you know, I'm talking about way before, like your grandparents, grandparents, grandparents. Like there, if there's one book, bro, like that, that n number one, no one even knew about the book. <laughs> and then number two, that book had to be handed down, handed down, handed down until it was re mastered and repurposed right and remade or published and so there's a great deal of value that we can get as long but all we have to do is look for it right it's it's basically us taking action and so you might be like hey man d man i'm just trying to get successful I just, i'm chasing success well how are you chasing success are you chasing success by doing what the successful people are doing or are you chasing success to find a shortcut Make sense? So I hope this value rings true and I hope that you do join me because I'm going to talk about important concepts about like framing your mindset, framing. And I say framing because I believe you have to be in the right position in order to get it done right. Framing uh, your time management, framing your day, framing yourself for the win, framing yourself for the, for the sale, framing yourself for the close, framing yourself for all these various things that I believe we don't truly understand initially as salesmen and because we don't understand this we are not in success's path and i'm gonna show you how to get the success's path please comment below let me know what your favorite takeaway was and if this is your first time watching content at sales remastered i appreciate your time don't forget to like comment share and subscribe if you hit the bell i'm gonna notify you of of the next time that i upload content i'm gonna give you a sneak preview of the title too and if it makes sense or if it, it, it provides you any value definitely share it with someone who you believe needs to see the content or someone else who could benefit from that value join me today is uh thursday november 1st 2018 and i'm about to start my live stream in about an hour so i hope i see you there bye let me show you everything I know